Here we have one more example. Uh, we have something like ln of x over x plus 2 squared. So right away we notice that the denominator term is indeed uh, easily separable into x plus 2 and x plus 2. Well, the top term ln of x, well, say we get the expression with our variables a and b, and we set that equal to ln of x. Well, it's not very helpful because we will need a ln of term, ln term on the left side with constants to solve for x. So uh, this doesn't really help us. Well, we can try integration, uh, integration by parts at first to see if we can split this up into a simpler uh, form. So let's go ahead and try uh, integration by parts. Well, let's choose our u to be ln of x. That's easily uh, differentiable. And our dv equals x plus 2 squared. So we see that this is not any more difficult to solve than, uh, than x plus 2 squared. So dx, so 1 over x plus 2 squared dx, actually. So <clears throat> let's take our du. Our du equals 1 over x dx. And our v uh, is equal to, well, if we reduce this term down to x plus 2 to the negative 2, we can just use a chain rule as well as the power rule. So we would get something like negative 1 times x plus 2 to the negative 1. So now we have our du and v term. Let's plug it in to our integration by parts. So u equals ln of x, v equals negative 1, x plus 2 to the negative 1, minus the integral of uh, u, which is going to be ln of x, oh, pardon me, v, which is going to be negative uh, 1 over x plus 2. times du, which equals 1 over x dx. So let's rewrite this a little bit. Negative ln of x divided by x plus 2 plus the negative 1 here, the integral of 1 over x times x plus 2 dx. So notice right away that this term is solved for, and this term we have a integration by partial fractions uh, situation where the denominator is comprised of two multiplying uh, x terms, x and x plus 2. So let's do an entire another uh, problem solving setup here. So a times x plus 2 plus b times x equals 1. So then we have a times x plus b times x plus 2a, which equals 1. So we have here our a plus b is equal to 0, and 2a is equal to 1. Well, now we get something like a equals 1 half, and b equals negative 1 half. So applying this back to our original, uh, form, we get integral of a, which is 1 half, over x dx plus negative 1 half b over our x plus 2 term, dx. And we solve this integral uh, just like before, and we get <clears throat> something like uh, 1 half ln of x minus 1 half ln of x plus 2 plus c. So this is our integration by parts portion that we can substitute directly back into here. So rewriting everything, we get negative ln of x over x plus 2 plus 1 half ln of x minus 1 half ln of x plus 2 plus c. And this is our final expression. So for this problem, uh, we actually went through <clears throat> two parts. We did 
integration by parts and got the form down to here. And then we did uh, integration by partial fractions. So we've used many, many rules. We even used the power rule. We used the addition and difference rule of integration. So notice that we're using all these different rules, but focusing mainly on uh, integration by partial fractions and integration by parts. So don't be afraid to mix up the two rules uh, if you need to. If one doesn't work out, always look towards the other. Uh, so be flexible in your problem solving. Thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.